Hey everybody, welcome to Tucker's video cook recipe. Hope everybody's keeping well. Labor weekend lockdown. I'm gonna do curry in a hurry. We got our diced lamb in a just a mild sort of mass amount of spice. Um, so what I've just been doing is on a low heat for about six minutes. Uh, I just want these onions translucent, but not too brown. I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic. I'm just crank the heat a little bit. I just wanna quickly cook that garlic. Only take a few seconds. Like, see the onions, you just want them soft and translucent um, without sort of burning them. And then just whiz that garlic around for a minute. And then what we're going to do is crank the heat up a bit. Let's take these out for a second. Probably about five or six minutes I had these onions on. I'm just going to take them out for a minute. And just releases those flavors and you smell that garlic is just sort of lightly, lightly browned. Alrighty. Not too hot to want to burn. We want a splash of oil and then straight in with our diced lamb. Well, I'm just gonna turn that turn that over for about five minutes just to get it nice and coated and nice and brown. Right, so our lamb has been browned for about five, six minutes. We don't want to burn it or blacken it, but just when I just release those flavors, you smell those spices that have just been cooking. We're just going to add our onion and garlic back in. Give that a quick stir. Just mix it all together and you can really smell all those flavors that have just been released. Right now, um, I would normally do half tin tomatoes and maybe half a tin of light coconut cream just gives it that richness but the good lady in our house doesn't like dairy so we're gonna go full tomatoes no cream for me anyway we'll chuck these in like i say Neither. half a tin of uh, half a tin of uh, coconut cream mixed in there we'll just give it that give it that lift give it that richness but we're gonna afford the head with a full tin of tomatoes healthy, healthy. Uh, it's gonna be a bit more healthy, not as tasty. That's okay. Alrighty, and then maybe just have a little scoopy of water. Just to blend it all together. There you go. That's all fine. There you go. And then we're just gonna turn the heat. We just want that on a low simmer for about 25-30 minutes and at that point we're going to hit the rice on and sure all come together maybe do a little pop it on on bread at the end all right folks so i've had this simmer in for about 40 minutes and it's just to soften up the lamb and during that time i put a half a cup of water in twice so after about 15 minutes put a cup of water in about half an hour i don't like it too runny so i've reduced it down quite a bit like i say Ideally, you'd have a bit of light coconut cream or coconut milk, but uh, I'd say my other half doesn't like dairy, so we're just coming tomorrow. Rice is pot, I'm just gonna quickly finish it, put it all together, and uh, we're just gonna fry up a, a little bit of bread. Alrighty, this one. Um, like I say, if you want to do you know, this is quite a mild, quite a mild spice that it was in if you want you can add some chili flakes or smoked paprika as also quite a good one let's pop this rice out of the way um i've just done plain got a bit of plain jasmine rice just got in and if, you know if you want to add a bit of heat to the curry so you put a bit of curry powder but we just kept it uh kept it pretty plain and simple for my uh for my other half Alrighty. Um, um, so I'm just going to serve up a bit of curry. So inside, you see it's quite, uh, I like it quite thick. Plenty of lamb there. Liam, you have curry? Liam, do you want some curry? Yeah. You do? Time. It's bedtime for Liam. 
Alrighty, so it's got a bit spare there. Right, so I'm just going to crank the heat right up. Get that nice and hot. A little bit of olive oil. I should have washed the pan first, my mate. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Good way, actually. Just rewind that a second. Can you cut that out? Seriously. <laughs> I'll just give the pan a quick wipe. I do. Have you stopped it? Oh, keep it going. Keep it going. That's all right. Yeah. It's live and it's real. All right, just a bit of olive oil there. Um, it's got a couple of flatbreads here, just little wraps that belong to Liam. <laughs> right. So I'm literally just going to fry them for a couple of a couple of minutes, and I've just got a bit of chopped almonds. I'm going to put on mine. Chopped almonds for you. More chopped almonds. There you go. That's mine. That's done. So we'll literally rice off. Plenty there to make a little fried rice tomorrow. I just want to heat this up real quick and then they'll just give us a little bit of bread to go on the side. It can take more than a minute to hook. Here it comes, that sizzling. There you go. Only going to take about a minute. Um, again, no market, so I'm not sure when we're back, but uh, we still get the pack online up to Thursday night and we've got a bit of a mix in there this week. If anybody's got any suggestions, please fire them through. Um, like I say, this has been a pretty simple put together. But if you do want to see something done, give us a little shout. We had a, a little date night last night, which was uh, most entertaining. It went down very well. We had a little Tom Jones in the background, and uh, went uh, went pretty well. Mm. For me, anyway. Alright, we're pretty much done here. Like I said, they only take a quick minute, they'll start to pop up like that. And that's basically it, guys. Um, I'm gonna cut this quickly. And the weather's been a bit, uh, bit off this weekend, but we did get down the beach for a little swim. There you go, that'll do. Let's give this a little chop. One, two, four. I just wanna pop a little bit of salt and pepper on here, just to finish it off. One. Two. One, two. There you go, guys. They have it. Lockdown Labour Weekend. Carry in a hurry. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy cooking and take care, everybody. Bye.